obviously great to come back and get a win uh, uh, tonight. Uh, again, great crowd. Um, our guys played really energized. It was great to see, um, to be able to respond the way that we did uh, to Thursday it was fantastic. It says a lot about the character in the locker room. Um, it's great to get another win against a quality opponent. They're they're gonna um, they're gonna have a good season in their league. Uh, he's a very good coach, and um, you know it was it, it was an important win for us and a really good win for us. Yeah, Jim, if you could just talk about on Thursday you had 30, 30 points on seven threes and tonight you're just still feeling out there on the offensive end. Like, what are you feeling on the offensive side of the court? Um, I think my teammates just put me in the right positions and. I'm shooting shots that I work on all the time, so just confidence and letting it go. And then just, could you talk about a little bit in the first half there, just the importance for you guys as a team to set the tone defensively? Yeah, I think we had a really good uh, half of defense in the first half. You know, we held them like 22 points, and I think that kind of set the tone for the first half or the second half, and we just got to come back with that same effort and consistency. And Vaughn, just uh, what's it like when you're watching Jalen? Uh, just something I knew who you could always do. Um, him being a sixth man of the year last year, just was just a little sample size of what he can do, and just uh, him what he's doing now is just all the hard work he put he's put in, and just uh, watching him is just just made me a proud proud teammate for real. all the work. This is great. And then if you could just talk a little bit about just the way the bench played tonight with you, Julie, just both leading the way with eight points, just the importance of how you guys are able to continue the tone at the start as a staff. Um, definitely uh, just staying ready um, and just going out there, playing defense. That's always the first mindset, playing defense, and the offense is going to come and just bring tremendous energy off the bench, and the rest of it just goes by itself, comes to itself. Yeah, Jalen, uh, you know, obviously you had a good role last year, but obviously a bigger role for you this year. So kind of how does it feel to just step in and early in the season be able to show, you know, you can step into that role that the other guys left? All I really want to do is win. You know, we won last year. We didn't lose at home last year. So get that streak back up, step into this role. I'm ready for it. And I know my teammates ready too. So we ready. Vaughn, um, coming off the two overtime night, uh, sometimes, you know, the bench has to step up because a lot of the starters did put in a ton of minutes on Thursday night. Can you just talk about the mindset? I, I know he asked kind of about the bench, but just tonight, especially coming off of, of such a long night the other night and then the quick turnaround tonight. But before he even answers that, the only thing I want to add to that is like Vaughn may not start right now, but he's a starter. He, he's He's been a starter for three years. So last, Thursday night, I think he played 36 minutes. It might have been his career high in minutes. So. Uh, I'll let him answer, but I, I think it's important for me to say that because that's how he's viewed here. It's not like he's coming off the bench. Uh, he, he's a proven player here for a long time. Uh, just piggybacking off what I said earlier, just it's all the attitude, just being ready. Uh, when coach puts you in, when he calls your number, just be ready. And everything's going to take care of itself. Uh, starts on defense, and everything's going to play out on offense. All right, fellas. I'll right, see you guys. Cool. Have a good off day. Questions for coach? Yeah, um, coach. What could you say about just the you know quick turnaround here? How do you think the team responded to that? Yeah, you know what? On a Thursday night after the game, first of all, it was a great game Thursday, and such a disappointing ending. And a lot of things that, you know, I have to shoulder the responsibility for. I think I said that Thursday night. So, you know, it's tough to sleep after something like that. So I, I was, uh, you know, Googling on YouTube uh, a bunch of stuff like, okay, how do you respond, right? Like, because that's what it really comes down to. How do you respond? So I watched this great, it was like an hour long uh, YouTube thing on, on um, event plus response equals outcome. I think it's taught in business school. So I, I listened to that and I was like, you know what, it really is about, you know, we had a, an, a crazy event that took place Thursday night. And really what, what comes down to is how do we respond to that? Because that will dictate, you know, the outcome of tonight and moving forward, because we're going to have 
a lot of, you know, every team has uh, some ups and downs throughout the year. And, um, you know, we're going to have some. So it was disappointing on Thursday. But to see the team respond the way that they did tonight, I think that speaks, you know, more towards our team than what happened on Thursday night. So that that tells me a lot. And early in the year, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to learn, like, okay, what are these guys about? And what is this team going to be about? And I think tonight, you know, really says a lot about, you know, what this team wants to be about. Yeah, and then uh, a lot of size on the other, on the other team. Yeah. Know, and they kind of hurt you on the glass a little bit. But outside yeah. of that, they really didn't get too much scoring on Corona or Domenico. So yeah. Yeah, I thought the front court guys did a good job, and and they ended up going small, which is what a lot of teams, you know, seem to have been doing against us. Um, we played two scrimmages along with the three regular season games, and that's been a theme that we've seen is teams uh, trying to spread us out and sort of making us pay defensively with our size. So we got to keep working on that and getting better at that, and then. We have to make sure that we punish teams on the glass. And we did have more offensive rebounds than them. Obviously, we didn't have as many rebounds total as them, but that's because of their turnovers. They didn't get as many shots on, on, on the glass as we did, uh, and we got to the free throw line more. But, um, yeah, you know, they're a big team, big physical team. The coach there was, you know, one of the architects of San Diego State's program being what they are. And San Diego State plays with big physical guys, and and uh, you know that's what they do at Fresno. And um, again, it's difficult to 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 play against. Um, and I thought our guys did a great job scrapping and creating turnovers and digging the ball out of the post and uh, making it difficult for their size. Yeah, just from your eyes, what was the main difference in the second half there from their offense when you guys limited them to forty two percent? Yeah, I think the biggest thing was the break, the 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 jailbreak layups. Like we we had turnover layup, uh, you know, defensive rebound outlet layup. Things we have to clean up. We got to our transition defense has to be much better. And um, you know, I didn't see that percentage. <laughs> now I'm seeing it. I can't believe that we still won by ten. So, um, you know, we we have to clean up our transition defense and and. Some of the jailbreak ones, you turn it over, it's hard, but we got to try to make plays. And when we shoot, we got to make sure we have guys back. We have that floor balance. So that's something, again, early season. Okay, we see this. It had not been a problem in any of our uh, prior games, but it was a problem tonight. So we'll address that moving forward because we have to get better at that. It was just, we had a busy week with three games. Just how do you utilize these next six days off? Yeah. Game? Yeah, well, well, we'll take two days off uh, Sunday, Monday. Um, one day, you know, class, one day to uh, get rest. Uh, we'll come back Tuesday and watch the film, practice Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we get to play three games in three days following that or three games in four days. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll get a chance again to learn more about where we're at and try to keep getting better. And you just mentioned those road games. Just how important is it maybe for a road trip for this team, to, especially this early on, to get a little bit closer and at that point it's really only basketball in their minds and yeah. Yeah, I think that that's going to really help us. And and again, the multiple games and multiple days will help us because it, it forces me to play more guys and give guys opportunities to, to show that they can help the team when we get into league play. So these games right now, you know, today, guys like Vaughn, I know Vaughn's been here forever, but Julius played really, really well. Rico played really well. Tyam showed some flashes. There's some things that he has to do better to get on the court more, but he, he's a talented player that can help us. Um, and Brendan twisted his ankle, but he had been playing well when he had first checked in. So the more depth we have, you know, the better, the better it is for our team. And uh, when you play in the, that environment, it, it, it forces us to develop our, our bench some more and develop that depth that, that we need uh, come January, February. Coach, with 12.55 left, you took a timeout. Um, Fresno had got the lead down to three points at that point. You kind of mentioned some of the jailbreak and just kind of those types of plays. And then over the next five minutes, you guys went on a 17-7 run. 
was it something you said in the huddle, or was mm-hmm. it just the veteran leadership on the team kind of like, let's not yeah. have a repeat of Thursday night. Let's yeah. put the pedal back on the metal in full way. Chris does a great job uh, being really, really vocal in those uh, huddles. Um, he's always about the right stuff, and he does a really good job there. And then we made a couple plays. You know, Julius hit a couple shots. Uh, Gio Claron had a, a couple finishes. Gio had a couple nice assists. Uh, and and, and we, got, we were able to get some stops and turnovers and score a little bit there to, to get some separation. But... Um, you know that that's that was big for us there because it did get tight, and again to me it it speaks to me about the character of the team because, you know even even Thursday night, when when you blow that lead and then you're down six with you know 15 seconds to go, to force double overtime you know we're we're starting to show some character, which is what we need to show as a group, and uh, we need to keep improving upon that as the year goes on. Great, thanks.